Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tanessa, aka Tanessa Love Love. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because your girl have all the details, all the beginner friendly hairstyles, all the protective styles that are trending. If you are interested in all of that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today's video is gonna be about this bomb crochet locks I have rocking today. So I have done a crochet locks video before, which has a bit more details um, on how I lay the foundation. It's a different color, it's a red, fiery, foxy red. Um, burgundy locks that I did which I will link in the description box I did the same exact method as I did previously so if you don't need the in-depth details this video is perfect for you but if you want the lowdown on how I prepped my hair how I stretched it how I laid the foundation and all of that you do want to head over to that video but if you are just like I just need a quick revisit then friend this video is for you so I got this hair from Toyo Tress. They gifted me this hair in 10 inches and ombre blonde. So the 10 inches and you'll look for me, but baby. <laughs> I look good. Okay, okay. So all the details about this hair will be in the description box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight into the video. So I start with laying the foundation of my hair. There's absolutely no feed-in, there's no braiding techniques in this method. It is strictly like, you know, you braid your hair all the way back, but the front mimics an individual's look without leaving out all the individuals that need wrapping. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a lot of time, that's a lot of effort, and some of us just don't have the skill, okay? I don't have the skill. So what I then do is start with the front to make sure I don't run out of hair okay you know that's the last thing you want you don't want to run out of hair and the front of your head ain't done okay boo so the first thing I do is start with the front of my hair and I'm just gonna show you a close-up of how I install the crochet onto my hair and then kind of speed through the rest of the video and kind of give you tips on how I achieve this look the first thing you want to do is insert the needle under your cane roast. I put it directly under because that helps when you want to take the hair down. It makes it so much easier. So you insert the needle under your cane row with the needle closed and then once you've gotten to the other side you open the latch, you hook the loop of the hair onto the needle, close the needle and pull it back through your hair. And once that needle is pulled through with the hair attached, you remove the needle and loop the hair so you put the end of the hair through the loop and then you just tighten it and that is how you get the crochet I hope all of that just made sense but I'll show you guys again so you can see what I mean you basically just push the needle under the cane row attach the hair onto the needle pull the needle through your cane row and loop the hair and voila that is the locks installed so the front of the front half of my head mimics a individual look by braiding my hair i don't know how to explain this part but i'll try my very best to explain this so what i've done with the front part of my hair is try to mimic an individual's look it's mimicking an individual's look because i'm parting the hair like i'm going to do individuals but i'm then braiding it into each other to create a cane row effect um and so the cane row would be straight back but the parting will still be visible which is why it still looks like this is individuals i hope that makes sense genuinely don't know how to explain it but i'm hoping that the visuals here is helping you see what i mean so that's what i've done and then the back is just some big jumbo cane rows in the back they don't have to be neat they don't have to be thin they don't have to be perfect because your girl does not know how to cane roll, okay? It's a mess back there, but that's okay because no one is seeing it and all you need it for is to crochet the hair onto this foundation here, okay? The first time I did this style, it took about four hours. This time it took two and a half hours because your girl got the skills, okay? So what I do is make sure that I do the front first to get that out of the way and make sure I have enough hair to cover the front. The next thing I do when I go to the back is start to um, install hair along the perimeter. So all the sides of my hair are getting hair first just in case you decide to put your hair in an updo or a ponytail or whatever you're not seeing any of your natural hairs braid on the side but in fact you're only seeing the crochet hair 
So cover the perimeter, girls. Cover the front of your head, and then you're ready to just go bam, bam, scram in the middle. So, <laughs> as I said, the middle can just be a bit messy because no one's really seeing in the middle of your hair. You just want to make sure that how you install the crochet is covering all of your braids. And what I do to make sure there's no parts showing in the back or any of my braids, my cane will showing in the back, is lay the crochet from like lay the crochet left and right from each other. So in, what I mean by that is I do is make sure that I lay the locks each on one side. So I would lay the bottom one on the left side, the one above that on the right side, the one above that on the left side, the one above that on the right side. Whew, hope that makes sense. <laughs> and why I do that is to make sure that all sections of the hair are covered and no one is going to be seeing your braids underneath. You want to make sure that that is completely invisible. And so once you do that on every braid, the hair starts to look a bit more fluffy and allowing you to cover all of those braids underneath. So that is a top tip in the back. You lay it um, left, right, left, right. When you install it, then that will help you make your hair more full and eliminate any parting that you may see. So yeah, you go ahead and fix up those edges, you add some accessories, and you style the hair how you want. So I hope that this has been very helpful, it's beginner friendly, you don't need the hassle and the bustle of individuals wrapping locks, whatever, girls, you don't, okay? Don't feel like because it's short or it's crochet locks that you're too limited, because girl, you are not. So in the rest of the video, I will be showing you different styles I um, of how I will be styling my crochet locks. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.